Most people learning to code right now are stuck, but not in the same way as before. From 2020 to 2023, it was tutorial hell. Endless YouTube courses, Udemy libraries, following along without building anything real. Then AI changed everything. Now the trap looks different. Copy paste from ChatGPT. Prompt Claude code until it works. Build an app using Lovable. Ship code without understanding a single line. It feels faster. It feels like progress. But three months in, something breaks and you have no idea how to fix it. The dependency is just as real, just wearing a different mask. Whether it's tutorials or AI, the pattern is identical, consuming instead of creating. So what's the solution here? I would like to propose 10 tips that break that cycle and make you a builder again. They're short, specific, and designed to do three things. One, get your hands on the keyboard more than the play button. Two, turn AI into an amplifier instead of a crutch. And three, ship real projects every week so you actually feel progress. If you're tired of feeling busy without getting better, these are your marching orders. Tip one, you don't need to know everything. New developers think they need to master JavaScript, Python, React, Node, databases, Docker, and AWS before building anything. That's backwards. Senior developers read documentation, Google basic syntax every single day, and ask Claude to help them when they are stuck. A Stack Overflow survey found that 65% of professional developers copy code from documentation weekly. The skill isn't memorization, it's pattern recognition. Knowing how to find answers fast. Knowing when something looks wrong even before running it. Think of it like cooking. Nobody memorizes every recipe. They learn techniques, how heat works, how flavors combine. Then they improvise. Coding is identical. Learn the patterns, Google the syntax, ask AI for help, but understand what comes back. This is how to escape the trap of thinking there's always one more thing to learn before starting. This week's action. Pick one stack, JavaScript in React or Python in Flask. Build a to-do app in it. Ban any research on alternatives until it ships. Ship ugly, ship weekly. Tip two, learn how to learn. The old trap was tutorial hell. Watch, follow along, feel productive, then freeze at a blank editor. The new trap is AI dependency. Prompt, copy, paste, ship. It works until it doesn't. Both traps share the same root, passive consumption instead of active struggle. Studies on skill acquisition show the same thing across every field. Passive consumption builds zero real skill. Active struggle builds everything. The developers who land jobs fastest follow one ratio. For every hour consuming content or prompting AI, spend four hours building without help. Get stuck. Struggle with the error. Break things. Fix them manually. That friction is the actual learning. AI and tutorials are maps. The jungle is where skills get built. Discomfort means growth is happening. This week's action. Close ChatGPT. Close YouTube. Open a code editor. Build something small with no assistance. A personal expense tracker. A random quote generator. Anything. Ship ugly. Ship weekly. Tip three, perfection is a trap. Junior developers sometimes spend hours naming a single variable. Data, info, data underscore info. Beginners think production code needs to be elegant, clean, perfect. It doesn't. Here's what actually happens in professional development. Code ships messy. It gets refactored later. Sometimes much later, sometimes never. The product works and that's what matters. Perfectionism kills more projects than bad code ever will. The math is brutal. Developers who ship imperfect code weekly improve three times faster than those who polish endlessly. Why? Feedback. Real users finding real bugs teaches more than any amount of theoretical planning. Ugly code that works beats beautiful code that never leaves the laptop. Every single time. Ship ugly, then refactor on Fridays. That's the rhythm. This week's action. Take that half-finished project collecting dust. Ship it today. Broken features, ugly UI, whatever. Put it live. Ship ugly, ship weekly. Tip four, you'll never feel ready. Imposter syndrome isn't a bug. It's a feature of growth. Even senior developers with a decade of experience still think, who let me touch production? Waiting to feel ready is waiting forever. The data backs this up. Developers who apply for jobs before feeling qualified land roles 40% faster than those who wait. The interview itself builds skills. The rejection builds resilience. The eventual yes builds everything else. Confidence doesn't come before action. It comes from action. The first freelance project is terrifying. Half of it gets figured out on the fly with Google and AI as backup. But it ships. 
and that one shipped project opens doors that years of preparation never would. This week's action. Apply to one job, one freelance gig, or one open source project. Today. Not when the portfolio is ready. Not after one more course. Today. Readiness is a myth. Willingness is everything. Ship ugly, ship weekly. Tip 5. The real skill is problem solving. AI can write code. Tutorials can explain syntax. But neither can debug a system that fails only in production, only on Tuesdays, only when the user's name contains an emoji. The real skill in development isn't writing code. It's figuring out why code breaks when nothing looks wrong. Here's a three-step debug routine that works. First, isolate. Comment out everything except the broken part. Find the smallest reproducible case. Second, question assumptions. That variable that's definitely correct? Log it. That API that's definitely returning data? Check the network tab. Third, trace backwards. Start from the error, walk through each step that led there. This routine solves 80% of bugs faster than asking AI to fix it. The developers everyone admires aren't the ones who prompt fastest. They're the ones who fix problems systematically. This week's action, find a bug in any project. Spend 20 minutes using the three-step routine before asking AI. Build the debugging muscle. Ship ugly, ship weekly. Tip six, nobody cares about your code. This one stings, but it's freedom in disguise. Users don't care if code is elegant. Clients don't care about clever abstractions. Bosses don't care about perfect architecture. They care about one thing. Does it work? A developer once built a beautifully abstracted component. Reusable, efficient, perfectly dry. The client's response? Great. Can the button be blue instead of green? That's reality. Code is plumbing. Nobody looks under the sink and applauds tidy pipes. They just want water when they turn the tap. This reframe changes everything. Stop polishing. Start shipping. Ugly code that solves problems beats elegant code that sits in a repo. Nobody cares about your code. Ship ugly, then refactor on Fridays. The Friday refactor rule. One day per week to clean up whatever shipped. The other four days? Pure output. This week's action. Ship one ugly feature that users actually need. Ignore the voice saying it's not ready. Ship ugly, ship weekly. Tip 7. Use AI as a tool, not a crutch. AI has changed coding forever. ChatGPT, Copilot, Claude. These tools are incredible for speed. But there's a trap that's catching an entire generation of new developers. Copy-paste without understanding builds on sand. The moment something breaks in a way AI can't fix, there's nowhere to go. Senior developers use AI differently. They ask it to explain code line by line. They use it to explore multiple solutions. They verify output because AI is confidently wrong surprisingly often. Studies show AI-assisted juniors ship faster initially, but plateau hard. AI-assisted seniors keep accelerating. The difference? Seniors already have the mental models. AI amplifies what's there. For beginners, the rule is simple. Use AI to learn faster, not to skip learning. Every AI suggestion should trigger one question. Why does this work? This week's action. Take one piece of AI-generated code. Rewrite it from scratch without AI. Understand every line. That's how AI becomes a multiplier instead of a crutch. Ship ugly, ship weekly. Tip 8. Build in public. The developers who get hired fastest have one thing in common. Visible proof of work. Not degrees, not certificates, not AI-generated portfolios that all look the same. Actual projects with actual commit histories that show real thinking. Building in public does two things. First, accountability. Public commitment makes finishing three times more likely than private promises. Second, network effects. Recruiters, hiring managers, and future collaborators discover work they'd never see otherwise. The fear is always the same. Who wants to see messy beginner code? Everyone who remembers being a messy beginner. The tech community rewards people who show up and try. Some of the best job offers come from strangers who stumbled across a GitHub repo or a tweet about a project. The journey itself is content. This week's action? Push one project to GitHub. Tweet or post about it. Doesn't matter if it's small or ugly. Visibility compounds. Drop ship in the comments to commit publicly. Ship ugly, ship weekly. Tip 9. Master the fundamentals. Frameworks change every two years. AI tools evolve every few months. However, fundamentals haven't changed in decades. Variables, loops, functions, data structures, HTTP, how databases actually work. These are the foundation. Developers who chase every new framework or rely purely on AI stay permanently beginner level. Developers with solid fundamentals pick up new tools in days instead of months. They can read AI output and know instantly when it's wrong. It's like music. 
Memorizing one song by finger position limits everything. Learning theory unlocks any song. The investment math is clear. One month mastering JavaScript fundamentals saves six months of struggling with React. One week understanding HTTP makes every API click instantly. This week's action. Pick one fundamental that feels shaky. JavaScript closures. How REST APIs work. SQL joins. Spend two hours going deep. No frameworks, no AI explanations. Just documentation and experimentation. Foundations compound forever. Ship ugly, ship weekly. Tip 10. Protect your energy. Burnout kills more developer careers than lack of talent ever will. The grind culture myth says real developers code 12 hours a day, mass prompting AI, shipping features at impossible speed. The reality? The developers who last longest take breaks, set boundaries, and rest strategically. A weekend spent staring at one bug, barely eating, barely sleeping, might fix the bug, but it also drains weeks of future productivity. That's not a win, that's a warning. AI makes it tempting to work constantly since the code writes itself, but the thinking doesn't, and thinking requires a rested brain. The most productive developers protect their recovery like they protect their code. Sustainable pace beats heroic sprints every time. This week's action, set one boundary. No coding after 8 p.m., no weekend bug fixes unless production is literally on fire. Protect the energy that makes everything else possible. Rested developers ship better code. Ship ugly, ship weekly, but also rest. 10 tips, one thread. Ship ugly, ship weekly. The tools have changed. Tutorials gave way to AI. But the fundamentals of becoming a real developer haven't. Don't wait to know everything. Learn by building, not prompting. Let go of perfection. Start before feeling ready. Debug systematically. Focus on outcomes over elegance. Use AI to amplify, not replace understanding. Build where people can see. Master fundamentals that outlast any tool. And protect the energy that makes all of it sustainable. Developers who follow these patterns? 90% of juniors who ship weekly get interview callbacks in under three months. That's not theory. That's what happens when output replaces overthinking. The path forward is simple. Not easy, but simple. Pick one tip, apply it this week. Ship something ugly then do it again next week. The gap between stuck and employed isn't talent, it's shipping. Drop ship in the comments to commit to publishing one repo this week. The journey starts now.